Doctor Jenks, play math. Hello, my play math friends. It's Doctor Jen. I'm so glad you came to see me. Today's story is about the monkeys who want to bake the biggest banana cupcake ever. To bake the cupcake, they need to get the amounts in the recipe correct. Are you curious about what happens? Don't forget to watch all the way through because when I finish the book. A fun after reading activity will follow. Are you ready for a story? Place value by David A. Atler, illustrated by Edward Miller. A is both a word and a letter. One is both a number and a digit. A is the first word in the sentence. A frog jumped onto my cupcake. A is the fifth letter in the word cupcake. One is the number in the sentence. We are number one. One is the second digit in the number three hundred eighteen. We write words with letters. There are twenty-six letters in our alphabet: A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Count the letters in the word banana. Banana is a word with six letters. We write numbers with digits. There are ten digits in our number system: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and zero. Count the digits in the number five thousand four hundred thirty-two. Five thousand four hundred thirty-two is a number with four digits. Order is important with both words and numbers. Pot and top have the same letters, but because their order is different, the words are different. Cafe and face have the same letters, but because their order is different, the words are different. Two hundred sixteen and six hundred twenty-one have the same digits, but because their order is different, the numbers are different. The place of each digit in a number determines its value. The six and two hundred sixteen means six ones. The six and six hundred twenty-one means six hundreds. Nine thousand three hundred forty-seven and seven thousand four hundred ninety-three have the same digits, but because their order is different, the numbers are different. The seven in nine thousand three hundred forty-seven means seven ones. The seven in seven thousand four hundred ninety-three means seven thousands. Take a look at this chart. On it, you can see the value of each digit in the number six hundred fifty-four thousand three hundred twenty-one. 
and the number 654,321, there is a comma after the 4. Commas are used to break large numbers into groups of 3 digits. The groups of 3 are counted to the left from the 1's place. The commas make numbers easier to read. The first group of 3, 3, 2, 1, is read 321. The second group of 3, 6, 5, 4, is read 654,000. With the 10 digits in our number system, we can write even larger numbers. 2, 4 to 6, 7, 8, 2 is a lot larger. 2, 4 to 6, 7, 8, 2 is red. 2,426,782. The next group of 3, Two, four to six, seven, eight, two has three different values. From the left, the value of the first two is two million. The value of the second two is twenty thousand. The value of the third two is two. Take a look at this place value chart. There's a dot to the right of the 1. That dot is a decimal point. It separates the columns of digits with values more than 1 from those of less than 1. Each column to the left of the decimal point is 10 times more than the column before. Each column to the right is one tenth of column before. The value of the 9 to the right of the decimal point is 9 tenths. The value of the 8 in the second column to right of the decimal point is 8 hundredth. Dollars, dimes, and pennies can teach you about the decimal point. How much money is in this box? If you write it in words, you write $12.34. If you write it as a number, you write $12.34. There is one $10 bill in the box. The one in one two. Point three four dollars is in the tenths place. It means ten dollars. There are two one dollar bills in the box. The two in one two point three four dollars is in the ones place. It means two dollars. There are three dimes in the box. Each dime is one tenth of a dollar. The 3 in 1, 2.34 dollars is in the tenth place. It means 3 tenths of a dollar. There are 4 pennies in the box. Each penny is 1 hundredth of a dollar. The 4 in 1, 2.34 dollars is in the hundredth place. It means four hundredths of a dollar. Our number system is called the Hindu Arabic system. It was first developed in India a few thousand years ago and spread across the Middle East and to Europe. With just the ten symbols in the Hindu Arabic system, we can write any numbers no matter how large or how small. 
It's place value that makes our system so powerful. Take another look at the place value chart. The first column to the right of the decimal point is for tenths. The first column to the left of the decimal point is for any number less than 10. The second column to the left is for tenths. The third column is for hundredths. Of course, each hundred is 10 tenths. The fourth column is for thousand. Each thousand is ten hundreds, and each hundred is ten tens. The Hindu Arabic number system is based on ten. Why ten? Many people believe it's because we each have ten fingers. Our number system may have started thousands of years ago when someone counted on his fingers. He reached 10 and made a mark on the ground to show he had counted on all his fingers. The mark on the ground meant 10. He continued to count. Each time he counted all his fingers, he made another mark. Each mark meant 10. You know that 132 is not the same number as 123. And 123 is not the same number as 321. The digits in each of the numbers are the same, but the numbers are different. Our number system depends on place value. It's what enables us to write this huge number using just 10 different digits. 329, 465, 180, 608, 180 million, 708,643. Three two nine four six five one eight zero seven zero eight six four three. Three hundred twenty nine trillion. That's a lot. The end. Now it's time for a fun activity. To do this activity, you'll need my free printable templates, both math and numbers, dry eraser and marker, and Lego blocks. First, print out the templates. You can laminate the mat so that kids can use it more than once. Cut out numbers from my template, or you can write a range of two-digit numbers yourself on little squares of paper. Fold them up and place them in a small container. Have your kid draw a number and write it at the top of the mat. Then, your kid will build the correct number of tens and ones using Lego blocks to represent that number. If kids get used to the activity, you can do with larger numbers. By doing this activity, kids can develop a firm grasp on place value. Thank you for watching Play Math. To read more math picture books and do after reading activities, please subscribe to this channel. See you next time!